Have you ever wondered how your heart pumps over 100,000 times a day without ever taking a break? Let's open up the chest and take a closer look at the human's heart. If you love learning about the human body and how it really works, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss a heartbeat. Alright, so what actually is the heart? Most people know it's the thing that pumps blood, but it's so much more than that. The heart is a hollow muscular organ located in the thoracic cavity, slightly to the left side of your chest between your lungs. It's about the size of your closed fist, but the size can vary depending on your body size and physical condition. In athletes, for example, the heart can grow bigger and stronger, just like any trained muscle. But here's what makes the heart unique. It's not just any muscles, it's made of cardiac muscle tissue a specialized type of muscle found only in the heart. This muscle is self-contracting, rhythmic and highly fatigue resistance. In fact, it's the only muscle in your body that never stops working unless you're dead or in cardiac arrest, which hopefully you're not while watching this video. Now the heart works as a dual pump system. It has two sides, right and left, each with two chambers, the atria, top chambers and the ventricle the bottom chambers so in total four chambers each playing a role in moving blood through your lungs and out to your entire body here's the fun fact even outside of your body as long as it has oxygen and nutrients your heart can keep beating on its own because it generates its own electrical impulse that's how heart transplant even work okay now that we know what the heart is Let's talk about how it actually works. The heart's job is simple to say, pump blood, but the way it does is actually brilliant. Let's break it down. The heart works in a loop. It sends blood to the lungs to pick up oxygen, then sends that oxygen-rich blood to the rest of the body. We call this the double circulatory system and it has two main circuits, pulmonary circulation between the heart and the lungs, systematic circulation between the heart and the rest of the body. And here's how the blood moves through the heart step by step. Step 1. The oxygenated blood returns from the body. Blood that's low in oxygen and full of carbon dioxide comes back from the body and enters the right atrium of the heart through two large veins. The superior vena cava from the upper body and the inferior vena cava from the lower body. Step 2. Blood moves to the right ventricle. From the right atrium, blood passes through a valve called the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. Step 3. Blood goes to the lungs. The right ventricle contracts and pushes blood through the pulmonary valve into the pulmonary artery, which takes to the lung. In the lungs, the blood gets oxygenated. It picks up oxygen and drop off carbon dioxide. Step 4. Oxygenated blood returns to the heart. The oxygen-rich blood now flows back to the left atrium of the heart via the pulmonary venous, which, fun fact, are the only venous in the body that carry oxygen-rich blood. Step 5. Blood moves to the left ventricle. From the left atrium, blood goes through mitral valve into the left ventricle, which is the strongest champion of the heart. Step 6. Blood is pumping to the entire body. Finally, the left ventricle contracts forcefully and sends the blood into the aorta, the biggest artery in the body. And from there, it's delivered to every organ, muscle and cell in your body. This entire cycle takes about one second to complete. The heart beats around 60 to 100 times per minute depending on your age, fitness, and stress level. What keeps the blood from flowing backward? The heart has four one-way valves that make sure blood only flows in the correct direction. They open and close with each heartbeat, like the tiny biological doors, controlled by pressure chains inside the chambers. You might have heard that the heart pumps blood but just how much are we talking about here? Let's dive into number. Every time your heart beats, which is about 60 to 100 millimeters, 
which is about 60 to 100 times per minute in a healthy adult, it pumps around 60 to 100 millimeters of blood. That's about one shot glass of blood per heartbeat. Multiply that by your heart rate. Let's say your rate rests and your heart rate is 70 beats per minute. It means about 5 liters of blood per minute. It's basically your entire blood volume getting circulated through your body once every time. So how does the heart handle this? Through powerful coordinated contractions of the ventricle. The left ventricle, which pumps blood to the entire body, is especially muscular and thick because it has to generate a lot of pressure to push blood all the way to your brain and toes and everywhere in between. Meanwhile, the right ventricle pumps blood to the lungs, so it doesn't need to be as strong. This division of labor keeps the whole system efficient. What if the heart pumps too much or too little? When the heart pumps too little blood, we call that heart failure. When it pumps too forcefully or fast, it can cause high blood pressure or even cardiac hypertrophy and abnormal thick heart muscle. So yes, the heart is strong, but balance is key. So what exactly is the heart made of? What materials make up this tireless biological pump? Let's break it down layer by layer. The wall of the heart has three layers and each has specific job. It includes endocardium, the inner layer, myocardium, the middle layer and the main one, epicardium, the outer layer. Endocardium is thin, smooth lining that covers the inner walls of the heart chambers. It prevents blood from sticking and forming clots. Also provides a smooth surface for efficient blood flow. Myocardium is the thickest layer, made of cardiac muscle tissue. This is where the real pumping power comes from. It contracts with each heartbeat to push blood. The fun fact? The left ventricle has a much thicker myocardium than the right because it needs to pump blood all the way through the body, not just to the lungs. Epicardium is a thin protective layer that also forms part of the precardium. Contains blood vessels, nerves and fat, helps protect the heart from friction and damage. The precardium is heart protective sac. The heart is surrounded by a double layer sac called the precardium. Think of it like a slippery bag holding the heart in place and protecting it from the trauma and friction. It has two layers, fibrous precardium and serous precardium. And between them is a precardial fluid, which works like oil, reducing friction with every beat. The cardiac muscle tissue, what makes the heart unique. Now this is important. The cardiac muscle tissue in the myocardium is very different from the other type of muscles. It has intercalated discs, special junctions between cells that allow electrical impulse to travel super fast and keep all the muscle cells beating in second. Electrical running system inside the heart. The heart has a built-in conduction system made of specialized muscle cells, not nerves, which includes SA node, AV node, bundle of his, Purkinje fibers. These act like the electrical running of a house, telling the heart when and where to contract. Why doesn't the heart get tired? Think about this. Your heart has been beating non-stop since you were just a few weeks old inside the womb. And it will keep going every second of your life with zero conscious effort. So here's the big question. Why doesn't the heart get tired? Why doesn't it just burn out like your legs after a long run? Let's break it down. Cardiac muscles is built different. The heart is made of a special type of muscle, cardiac muscle tissue. It's involuntary, rhythmic, and designed to work non-stop. Here's what makes it so fatigue resistant. It has a huge number of mitochondria, the power plants of the cell. Cardiac cells have rich blood supply, can stand oxygen and nutrients. It releases heavily on aerobic metabolism, which is much more efficient than anaerobic, which your skeletal muscle often switch to. 
cardiac muscle cells can have 5 to 10 times more mitochondria than skeletal muscle cells. Even though it beats all the time, your heart actually gets a tiny rest between each beat during the phase called diastole. Here's what happens. Systole, contraction, when the ventricles push blood out, and diastole is relaxation, when the heart fills with blood again. At rest, diastole is longer than systole, meaning your heart is resting more than working during each beat. If your heart beats 70 times per minute, that's 70 short contractions and 70 micro breaks every single minute. The heart has its own dedicated network of blood vessels called the coronary arteries. These vessels warp around the heart and supply it with fresh oxygen-rich blood all the time. No matter what the rest of your body is doing, the heart takes care of itself first. That's why a blockage in these arteries, like in a heart attack, is so dangerous. It cuts off full to the very muscles that keeping you alive. The heart is smart. It listens to signals from both branches of your autonomic nervous system, sympathetic system, speeds it up during stress or exercise, parasympathetic system, slow it down at rest and during sleep. The balance helps prevent overload and keeps your heart working efficiently, not excessively. Your skeleton muscles, like in your arms or legs, are like a sprinter. They can go fast, but they burn out quickly. Your heart is like a marathon runner, slow, steady, and unbelievably efficient. So we've talked about how the heart is made of muscle, but it doesn't move on its own like your arm or leg. There's no brain telling it to beat each time. So what makes it heart contract perfectly and non-stop? The answer is simple, electricity. Your heart is electrically active and it has own built-in power system. At the top of the right atrium, there's a small cluster of special cells called the SA nude. This is your natural peacemaker. It generates tiny electrical impulse around 60 to 100 times per minute, and every single heartbeat begins with this spark. Even outside of your body, the heart can still beat, as long as SA nude and oxygen are present. Here's how the signal travels through the heart. 1. SA nude fires an electrical impulse. 2. The impulse spread across the atria, causing them to contract. It means pushing blood into the ventricles. 3. It reaches the AV nude, which delays the signal briefly. But why the delay? To give them time for the ventricles to fill with blood. The signal then travels down the bundle of his, then it splits into right and left bundle branches. Finally, it spread through Purkinje fibers, causing the ventricles to contract. So it's like a carefully timed wave that moves top to bottom. Atria contracts first, then the ventricles. If the SA new damage or blocked, the heart may beat too slowly or too fast or irregularly. In those cases, doctors might implant an artificial peacemaker, a small device that sends electrical impulse to keep your heart beating normally. It literally replaces your SA nude with a battery-powered version. Is the heart connected to the nervous system? Yes, but it doesn't depend on it. The heart can beat independently but the nervous system helps regulate it. So your brain doesn't make the heart beat, but it can tell it to beat faster or slower, depending on the situation. How to keep your heart strong? The heart is a muscle, and like any muscle, it gets stronger with use, especially through aerobic exercise, like walking, swimming, cycling, dancing, jump rope, Exercise helps the heart pump more efficiently and lower your resting heart rate. A heart-healthy diet includes fruit and vegetables, healthy fats like olive oil and nuts, omega-3 from the fish like salmon, low salt and low sugar intake, avoiding processed food, smoking and excess alcohol, 
also protects the heart. So your heart is a powerful, tireless and beautifully designed machine running on muscles, electricity and rhythm. If you found this video helpful or interesting, give this a video a thumb up and share it with someone who needs a little more heart in their life. See you in the next video.